for so what we're doing here. We're in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We're at the uh, Long Beach Convention Center. It's the International Mo Motorcycle Show. Um, I think, I believe it's the first one of the year. I believe, I could be wrong though. Um, but today was KTM's um, Media Day, or their media launch for basically their road division. Um, so not only were they launching what they were gonna be, all their street models, they were also Introducing Taylor Knapp as the new 2013 Superbike teammate to me. Nah, it should be fun. It should be a fun year, you know. Getting to be teammates. Hopefully, we can do some cool training, do some cool stuff, do some cycling, and I'm super pumped. Are you nervous? I'm nervous, yeah. For you know, I haven't ridden the bike yet. Anytime, new team, and you know, different stuff, different. It's all new. All right, you know. It's, like I said, it's happening, so here I am. We shared a ride to Miller uh, this year, and he got to meet John Hines. I had no idea who John was at the time. You know, I thought I was just kind of bumming a ride, so we just... Which is a good thing, because then he just was hanging out and being himself instead yeah. of like <laughs> trying to impress the, you know, yeah. KTM uh, super so, yeah. team manager. They were definitely going back with a few people, but his name always stayed at the top of the list. I know Taylor because we live literally, I think it's 12 miles away from each other. We didn't find this out until I started road racing. He's been racing and doing his own racing, you know, his entire life and um, our paths didn't cross until I decided I was gonna go road racing. In 2007, we showed up at a Weir race at Miller Motorsports Park, and we actually pitted next to each other. And I was like, oh yeah, you're Taylor Knapp. I live in Michigan too, my name's Chris. <laughs> Taylor and I both started like, basically, you know, there's a lot of kids that come up and immediately get a factory ride. You know, their, their dads kind of groom them, and then it's like, oh, okay, Factory Yamaha or whoever, factory team grabs them and is like, now we're gonna groom your kid and we're gonna make them, you know, the champion. Um, and both of us kind of stepped into road racing with our dads, basically, you know, as our mechanics, as our managers, everything. Like in 2007 when we first met, it was like, your dad and you and then my dad and, and me and like my dad flew in for the yeah. race and like I had one, buddy. yeah, yeah I was just like. like our helper. So my dad, <laughs> you know, he's he's an ex-racer and he's very passionate, he's what got me started so it's obvious he's. But in the he's end. He's a very outspoken person. Yeah, in yeah. the end. He, and it's great, everybody loves him but like. If you can deal with him, yeah, yeah. I mean a lot of people love him and then other people, you know, they just. They don't like to hear he's, what he has to say, but he's a I character. I always, want, I always like to hear what Dave has to say, whether I agree I'm, with I've it or not. It's to, different to listen and just kind of take what I can out of it. But some people can't do that. So in the end, he just wants what's both of our dads. I'm sure just want what's best for both of us. So they're looking out for us yeah. for sure. I think as a rider in general, you kind of sometimes will question yourself, you know, I think I want this, but I'm not really sure. So maybe at one point we're both feeling the same way, it might help a decision. Yeah, it seems like, you know, with Supermoto, when I did Supermoto, I had a good teammate that we could bounce ideas. We never were really bouncing ideas off each other, but Supermoto was like, you pretty much built a bike and just ran it, but road racing. Everything's so critical for setup. So what I found is like, if we're both struggling in one area, oh, okay, that's just the motorcycle. I've never really had. I've had teammates before, but I think this will be a. I think this will be a good year and a fun year too. I could tell just from racing at New Orleans. I mean, in the corners, I you know I hear that big twin just roll up on me. It's like you hear it back there. So can be intimidating to hear that thing behind you, so hopefully we can get up behind some guys and 
scare him a little bit. We went to Chuck Walla for Rocco Horvath. He was paralyzed in a road racing crash. We're here for a good cause. This is just a ride and have fun, like a big picnic almost, you know? Yeah. Everybody that races knows that it's dangerous, it's obvious, but you can get hurt doing anything, so. 